Welcome, gearheads and speed enthusiasts. Ever wondered which sports car was the fastest in its time? Well, you're in for a treat. Buckle up as we take you on a high-octane journey through the decades, highlighting the fastest sports cars from the 1950s to 2020. Trust me, it's going to be one wild ride. Ah, the 1950s. A time when milkshakes were a nickel, rock and roll was king, and the Aston Martin DB4 GT roared into existence. This British speedster redefined luxury and performance back in the day. Forget James Bond, if you were driving this bad boy, you were already cooler than 007. In 1959, the DB4 GT made waves by reaching a top speed of 151 miles per hour. The car was born out of the desire to create a lighter and faster version of the standard DB4, so they boosted the inline-six engine, which jumped in power from 240 to 302 horsepower. It had enough torque, 269 pound-feet of it, to tear your eyebrows off when you floored the throttle. And let's not forget its 0 to 60 miles per hour time, 6.1 seconds. A stunner, right? It might not seem like much now, but in 1959, this was basically teleportation. Moving on to the swing in 60s, we have the epitome of Ferrari glory, the 365 GTB4, better known as the Daytona. Why Daytona? Because naming it after an American speedway was probably the most Italian thing Ferrari could do at the time. This car had it all, a sleek long nose design and a V12 engine that even Beethoven would call a masterpiece. Powered by a 4.4-liter V12, the Daytona boasted 347 horsepower and a zero, 60 miles per hour time of just 5.4 seconds, and you bet your bottom dollar it had the bite to match its bark with a top speed of 174 miles per hour. It was a luxury grand tourer, yes, but it was also a speed demon in disguise. With a curb weight of only 2,646 pounds, it handled like a dream. The Daytona was the V12-powered symbol of 60s automotive excess, and we absolutely love it for that. Cue the disco balls and bell-bottoms, because it's time to zoom into the 1970s with the Lamborghini Countach LP400. Now, if there were ever a car to come straight out of a space opera, this is it. Lamborghini unleashed this wedge-shaped wonder in 1974, and it was nothing short of an automotive revolution. This car was basically the sci-fi poster child of the 70s. The Countach LP400 wasn't just about striking looks, though. Nestled amidships was a 3.9-liter V12 engine, pumping out 370 horsepower and delivering a jaw-dropping top speed of 179 miles per hour. Fun fact, Countach is a Piedmontese expletive that basically equates to wow. And wow, indeed, it might have looked like a spaceship, but its aerodynamics were more like a brick, Yet somehow, it still managed to snag the title of the fastest car of the decade. Lamborghini, you sly fox. All right, time travelers, grab your boom boxes and neon shades as we hit the 80s with the Ferrari F40. This car was the swan song of Enzo Ferrari himself. And man, did he go out with a bang. If the 80s were about excess, the F40 was the poster child. Big hair, big tunes, and big speed. This Italian stallion came with a 2.9-liter twin-turbo V8 that churned out an eye-watering 478 horsepower. Some even speculate that it was over the 500 horsepower mark. But who's counting when you're busy clenching the steering wheel in sheer terror? With a curb weight of just 2,765 pounds, this monster hit a top speed of 201 miles per hour. Yep, the first production car to break the 200 miles per hour barrier. When Enzo Ferrari said he wanted the driver to soil himself upon acceleration, he wasn't kidding. This car defined an era, and then some. Ah, the 90s. A decade of grunge, the dawn of the internet, and the car that shattered all expectations, the McLaren F1. Designed by Gordon Murray, a man more obsessed with automotive perfection than a cat is with laser pointers, the F1 was revolutionary. This was the vehicle that said, three seats in a car, why not? Yeah, it had a central driver's seat because symmetry is for squares. The F1 was powered by a BMW-derived V12 engine so balanced that it didn't even need a flywheel. It boasted 627 metric horsepower and reached an unthinkable top speed of 243 miles per hour. Forget the Backstreet Boys, this was the real 90s heartthrob. To this day, it's still the fastest naturally aspirated car ever made. Talk about going out in style, 90s style.
Y2K might have been a bust, but the 2000s gave us the SSC Ultimate Aero TT, and for that we're grateful. Who needs a Bugatti Veyron, said the Americans, and proceeded to build a car with a twin-turbo Corvette V8, proving that if you stick enough horsepower into anything, it'll go fast. Real fast. This unassuming beast churned out an insane 1,287 horsepower and 1,106 pound-feet of torque. It looked like a Lamborghini Diablo and a spaceship had a love child. More importantly, it could reach a top speed of 257 miles per hour, outpacing the Bugatti Veyron and making bald eagles everywhere shed a tear of pure high-octane freedom. If the 2000s were about pushing boundaries, the Ultimate Aero TT didn't just push them, it obliterated them. Ah, the 2010s, the era of smartphones, memes, and Koenigsegg attempting to break the internet, or at least the speedometer with the iGera RS. This Swedish sensation came so close to stealing the crown from the McLaren F1, but then decided, why not just go ahead and set a new record? Under its sleek Scandinavian skin, the Agera RS is packing a 5.0-liter twin-turbo V8 engine that coughs up 1,341 horsepower and 1,011 pound-feet of torque. Yes, you heard that right. Forget ABBA. This is Sweden's real chart topper. On November 4, 2017, the Agera RS screamed down a Nevada highway at an average speed of 277.8 miles per hour. Oh, did I mention it hit a peak of 284.55 miles per hour? Yep, this car practically teleports. And now we've landed in the future, or at least what felt like the future until 2020 actually arrived. That year, Bugatti said, hold my champagne, and rolled out the Chiron Supersport 300 plus. If the name sounds like a math problem, that's because the numbers this car puts up are downright calculative. We're talking an 8.0 liter quad turbo W16 engine that pushes out 1,577 horsepower. It doesn't just flirt with 300 miles per hour, it blows past it. On a test track in Germany, it clocked a heart-stopping 304.77 miles per hour. It's so fast, by the time you finish saying its name, it's already crossed the finish line. If you blinked, you missed it. But don't worry, we're here to make sure you catch every outrageous detail. And there you have it, folks. A ride through time showcasing the epitome of speed from each glorious decade. Whether you're Team Aston Martin or Team Bugatti, one thing's for sure, speed never goes out of style. Thanks for joining this high-octane journey, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, keep those engines revving.